Insulation resistance, the MAGA testing, record keeping when uh, you are doing it insulation resistance testing uh, at installation phase you have to just make a record and record the values it's kind of on and off test but when you are doing the insulation resistance testing periodically uh, with the with some frequency like three monthly six monthly or yearly it's recommended that you should be able to record <coughs> the values uh, of e insulation each year and by seeing uh, the trend for example maybe the insulation is keep on going down and uh, you can have a very valuable information and you can decide that what when will be the periodic uh, or uh, when will be the uh, expected failure of insulation because it's going down with something certain rate then you can uh, estimate that the insulation could be fail uh, in three or five years so in the same time you can arrange a replacement or repair of uh, uh, of that insulation so insulation resistance test data may be used to establish a trending pattern with deviation from the baseline formation permit evolution of insulation the results of these types uh, tests typically exposed in mega homes are depend on the temperature of the insulation material and the humidity of surrounding environment at that time of testing therefore all record must be corrected to base temperature such as 20 degrees centigrade so uh, it's most important that whatever you're getting the reading you should convert it to 20 degrees centigrade in in a year time and then you can compare it because uh, the reading uh, is affected by temperature so if you are not multi uh, using this um, uh, uh, this for this uh, uh, factor uh, coefficient or uh, multiplying factor if you're not using it correction factor then you will not be able to analyze the pattern of insulation whether it's going uh, down or not and the reading will be uh, quite random so that's why it's important now we will discuss this how you can do it uh, in later slides thank you very much